I'm Kevin O'Hara for Alcohol Mastery and today I'm going to talk about five ways that you can help your liver once you've stopped drinking alcohol. It's the third and final of the um, series of videos that I've been doing on helping your liver. The first was on five foods to avoid or five things to avoid. The second was on five uh, foods that you can take that will speed up the process that will help your liver and this one is on five ways to help your liver. Um, it's essential that you do as much as you can to give your liver a helping hand. You know, from a drinker's point of view, I understand how much, I understand now how much abuse I gave my liver back in the day when I was drinking. And uh, I don't think it's recovered my liver fully, but at the end of the day, nobody's going to look after your liver but you. So just do what you can to help and the least you can do is to try not to um, add to the burden of your liver. So here's five ways that you can help your liver to repair after you've quit drinking. So one, number one on my list is, is just basic nutrition. It's eating the right foods, healthy foods. And healthy foods to me are anything which is whole, anything in nature which is whole. You know, if you're a meat eater, then, you know, eat your meat, but try and cut down on uh, too much red meat in your diet. You know, stick to low-fat cuts of uh, chicken or preferably turkey. Um, fish, uh, they've got the, the right types of oil in them. Um, but stick to whole foods. I mean, I try, and, try and eat as many fruit and vegetables as you can. Uh, we get all our fruits and vegetables from the local farmer's market. And uh, you know we've tried a couple of times to get organic stuff, but they just don't know what the word means. I think most of it's organic-ish around here anyway, so um, I have no worries about that. You know, if you want to go out and buy organic, then by all means do. But number two on my list is exercise. Get plenty of exercise. Exercise not only makes you stronger uh, physically; it'll make you stronger mentally. And you'll also lose a lot of weight. Now, I think you'll lose weight anyway um, just by giving up alcohol and by uh, watching what you're eating, you know, eating whole foods, that kind of thing. If you've got a fatty liver, losing weight not only helps you to lose overall body weight, but it'll also help you to lose the fat around your liver. Healthier liver means a stronger life. The third one for me is self-medication. Don't self-medicate. That includes all drugs. So... You know, nutrition, exercise, number one and two. No self-medication, number three. Number four is to try and avoid uh, all kinds of chemicals in your life. You know, there's a lot of household cleaners and polishers and all that kind of stuff which are full of chemicals. And, you know, these chemicals are sort of in the air around you. A lot of deodorants, um, a lot of washing products are also full of full of uh, chemicals you know try and look for uh, natural products if you can you know there's loads of videos uh, we were looking at this recently just for natural uh, deodorants you know stuff that you can make up yourself that is uh, works just as well as the as the uh, manufactured stuff uh, same with cleaners for the toilet you know we don't like really using bleach and that kind of thing so uh, yeah there's thousands and thousands of videos on YouTube uh, so have a look there uh, and mainly it's avoiding the chemicals because if the chemicals get into your body it's just something else that your liver has got to deal with so you know it makes sense to try and uh, avoid it as much as you can uh, and number five is just to watch out for the medications that you're taking there's a lot of combinations of medications that can be um, toxic to the liver there's medications on their own obviously which uh, are not going to help your liver um, but you know it's all it's all toxin it's not you know these are all chemicals that you're putting into your system so the least amount that you can that you can use the better it's going to be for yourself in the long run but remember you've only got one liver it's the most abused organ inside your body it's the largest organ inside your body and you know you after all those years of drinking it definitely deserves for you to give it a break so long live the liver till next time i'm kevin o'hara for alcohol mastery onwards and upwards